This is a simple model of a one-cylinder engine. You can see the piston vibrating up and down. And we can plot the amount of force on this uh, anchor down here at the bottom in order to see how much the whole frame of the vehicle is going to vibrate. Let's do that plot now. We look for the uh, anchor's y-directed force. We can see that the force peaks out very high, about more than uh, 200 newtons in uh, variation in force in the vertical direction. That's a lot of force. Now I'm going to introduce a vibrating part. We add components and I put another uh, vertical moving part in here. Then I can add a spring. And depending on the spring constant, the tightness of the spring I use, and the weight of this second part, it turns out we actually can reduce the effect of vibration on the vehicle chassis. That spring constant is too low. I'm going to use the component properties window. Look at that spring constant. I usually need to use a pretty large spring constant. I've got 100 here. You can see that the two masses are starting to move in an opposed direction. Not 100% out of phase, but getting closer to it. So let's plot how much force now there is on this anchor on the bottom. Here's the plot again, and we plot against time on the horizontal axis. We plot vertical force, and you can see it's been cut now down to less than 50 newtons, which is a whole lot less force on the frame of the vehicle, about five times less. And you can tune this to make it look a little bit better than that.